Hi, my name is Brandon Enright, and I'm at work, and I just wanted to make a quick video showing how to cycle uh, the center pieces on larger cubes, like a 4x4x4 or 5x5x5, five by five by five, or this, this technique will work for arbitrarily large cubes. Um, and so if the basic idea is a commutator, of course, and you'll work on two faces, like these two faces, although really any two adjacent faces, um, and you'll use a sort of a third face as a scratch space. And so let me just show you the basic idea here. Um, here. So you do a move down, then you'll pull this over, move that back up, so you, that's, a, that's the three part X part, and then here's the Y part, and then you do a move down, move the piece over, move the piece back, and then you'll undo Y, and you will have done a commutator, and it'll look like you've done a commutator where you just swapped a pair of pieces, but you actually cycled another piece on this face in a three cycle. So let me actually talk about how this works, and I'll show I'll, I'll show the inverse of this, or well, I won't do the exact inverse. I'll just say you're looking at a situation like this. I'll I'll show you how to handle a situation like this sort of intuitively. Um, and so the idea first is that um, when you move this over to this face, it lines up with this slice. And so what you want to do is you want to put the piece you're not going to work with in that slice. So you're, you, this is a, a solved piece, and so you have a green green here. So what you do is you bring this down, you pull it over, and you push that back up. Now we've replaced that piece with the one that was right there. Now we replace it with the piece that we want to cycle to that face. We do the inverse, see now the red lines up nicely. Then you pull the slice back up, and you have done the inverse. You've, you've done a three cycle. This technique works, you don't have to pay attention to like what type of, of center this is. So like say we want to handle this piece right here. When we pull it over to this face, it's right there. It's still in this slice. So what, can, what we can do is say we want to put, um, we want to put this piece right there. So we'll first pull that piece over to save it, bring this down, bring the spot that we want to put it in or up. Now we'll put it where we wanted it, bring it down, push it back over, pull that up, and there we go. So we have done a, a three cycle where we took this piece, actually I think we took this piece, we put it there, we took this piece, put it here, and we put this piece, we put it there. We did a three cycle of those three pieces. So let me uh, let me do a repeat of that. Okay, and you can see that the three cycle continued. So the three cycle of this piece went to there, that piece went to there, that piece went to there. And then of course if we do it a third time, we'll cycle back around and we'll get a, a no operation. Okay, so the first move was to save it up, bring that slice down, bring that piece over, bring that piece up. Okay, and then you'll see that the third time we apply it, everything goes back. This technique applies even if I grab a larger puzzle. So this is a 9x9x9, nine by nine by nine, I think. It's a little bit hard to get in the camera frame. I only have one face solved here, which was actually done by one of my coworkers. Um, but uh, let me show you the technique. So, so we have this, say, let's take that, well, heck, let's go for this blue piece right here. So, and we'll cycle it with some white piece up here. So when we bring that blue piece over, it sits in this slice, this second slice, and it's the second one down. So let's put it back. Okay, so then we'll, so what we'll do is we'll put it right there. So we'll, well, actually we'll put the piece that's right there in the blue spot. So we'll put that up, we'll bring the, the second slice down here, okay, bring this blue slice over, push it up. Okay, now the piece that was right here, we, we saved it, so we're going to bring it back around. Okay, and then we'll do the inverse. We'll bring the second slice down. We'll push that back over. Okay, and then bring this second slice up. And what we've done is we've done a three cycle where we took the piece that was here, and we put it there, and we took the piece that was here, and we put it there, and we took the piece that was here, and we put it there. And so this is a typical situation you, that you'll get yourself into, where you have a color here and a color here, and you want to cycle them. And so how do we want to do this? So let's say we've got it like over there. So you don't have to do a lot of thinking here. You just, you know, that's the second slice over. Okay, so you bring the second slice down, bring 
this over, line it up, okay? And then you take the piece that you have on this face that you wanted to put over there, and you put it over there, and then you do the inverse. And that is how you cycle large centers on this puzzle.